Okay, moving on now to some other big story. Jail AIDMK leader Sasikala will be in all probability getting parole today. This after the Bengaluru jail authorities received a confirmation from the Chennai commissioner that her husband M. Natarajan is critically ill. Sasikala supporters have already reached Bengaluru jail. Her nephew and sideline party leader Dinakaran will also be arriving at the jail at about 12.30 in the afternoon. Sasikala will also be taking a road trip to Chennai and will be accompanied by the DSP level officer from Karnataka. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Edupati K. Palanisamy is also ensuring a massive security cover around the ousted AIDMK General Secretary once she arrives in Chennai. Police, in fact, have even barred Sasikala from meeting outsiders, including political leaders, during her 15-day parole. She will only be permitted to visit the global hospital where her husband is being presently treated for multiple organ failure. Sasikala's parole is likely to help her camp and her nephew to regain lost ground in the AIDMK, and that perhaps is what's making the EPSOPS camp a bit jittery. Okay, so Sasikala, they're uh, all set to leave Bengaluru prison for Chennai once she gets the nod from the prison authorities who I've already heard from the Chennai commissioner that uh, this indeed is a serious situation. The parole being granted on a humanitarian basis. Sasikala had uh, requested that she would like to meet with her critically ill husband, M. Natarajan. Let me go straight across now to Deputy Editor Rohini Swami. Uh, Rohini... Sasikala is not any ordinary prisoner. She, in fact, is someone uh, who, you know, holds such command in Tamil Nadu politics. Her presence, it seems, is already making EPS, OPS a bit jittery. But what's the plan? When is she expected to get parole? When is she expected to leave? If you could just give us all the details. Well, you hit the nail on the head. Yes, she definitely her parole and the and the news of this is creating an entire kind of a, a, a kind of a jittery kind of a feeling amongst the EPS OPS camp. But a parole now now let me tell you how it comes down to the fact that when the signature of the SP jail as well as the convict herself is put on paper, that is when you say that parole has been granted. But the Karnataka police or rather the jail authorities have very clearly said they are open and they are ready to give parole for now for based on the application she has put. We should remember that the previous time she applied, she it was not in confirmation with the jail manual where they had said that a gazetted officer needs to attest the medical certificate that has been issued by the hospital and that is why the first time it was not acceptable to the jail authorities. But this time all the documents are in place and things are ready. Now what is important at this time as we speak is that Jalata is being briefed. Uh, so, um, pardon me, Shashikala is being briefed. She is being told about the terms and conditions that have been put by the Chennai police when she is out on parole. We should remember that she will leave Karnataka but she will hear. Uh, TTV Dinakar has just come in. Let me just try and hit directly to him right now because he's All the right, man. Why don't you just go reach there so we can see a lot of action. TTV Dinakar, right who has already reached the Bengaluru prison, he is going to be accompanying his aunt. In fact, he has been visiting his aunt ever since she was jailed in the disproportionate assets case. And just take a look at the rush because all the action will take place at the central prison in Bengaluru when Chinema will be leaving the prison for uh, 15 days. She has. Uh, go, she is rather going to be given that 15 day parole Karnataka police giving the go ahead uh, as Rohini was saying only a signature by the superintendent of police is awaited and then that's the time Sasikala will be leaving let me see if TV Dinakran will in fact give a reaction but just take a look at the media frenzy there all eyes on TV Dinakran he is there to welcome his aunt uh, her presence in Tamil Nadu at this time at such a critical time assumes much significance it's it's coming at a time when the Madras High Court will be deciding on the fate of those 18 MLAs uh, who were disqualified by the Tamil Nadu speaker who pledged their allegiance to TD Vidhanakran who have been in a resort in Kurk so uh, the media there trying to get a reaction from TD Vidhanakran who's all smiles he's uh, he, he's someone who always looks very calm very collected Never flustered, uh, despite uh, cases uh, being levelled against him. Uh, TT Vidhanakaran there going to visit his aunt Sasikala or Chinema, who will be granted the 15-day parole on the terms that she will only be visiting her husband M. Natarajan, who is 
critically ill. He has multiple organ failure and has been at the global uh, hospital in Chennai for quite some time and has been receiving treatment. The Manar Godi family coming together uh, at this time, at a very crucial time, and Sasikala, in fact, finally uh, walking out of prison for 15 days on a 15-day parole to visit her ailing husband. Will her presence in Tamil Nadu threaten the EPS OPS camp and what does it really uh, what does this mean for the other ministers in the AIDMK the other leaders of the AIDMK the AIDMK cadre will her presence be uh, a boost to the morale of TD Vidhanakaran who's been completely sidelined with EPS and OPS coming together I'm, I'm staying with these visuals because TD Vidhanakaran is right now inside that car uh, and obviously there's just a lot of uh, media presence around his vehicle expecting a reaction from him it's a very important time it's not the first time that he's meeting his aunt he's um, in fact made multiple trips to the Bengaluru prison where Sasikala is serving her sentence after she was convicted in a disproportionate assets case uh, and here is T.D. Vidhanakaran waving out with the journalists, smiling, acknowledging their presence. Uh, we are expecting Sasikala to leave the prison by 1 o'clock. That is if the signatures come in from the superintendent of police. Earlier, in fact, her parole was rejected on technical grounds uh, due to insufficient inf uh, information, insufficient documents rather, because uh, they failed to attest the medical certificate from the hospital where her husband is being treated. And once that was done, there were indications that now she is very much ready to leave Bengaluru prison on a 15-day parole. So, TTV Dhanakaran there. Let me just check if Rohini is with me. Uh, Rohini, if you can hear me, where exactly is the vehicle of TTV Dhanakaran? Is it just, I, I can see a gate there. Uh, is he just waiting for the, for the media persons to disperse and then will his vehicle move in? Yes, true. Yes, he's just waiting right outside the gale, uh, gate of uh, Parpanagra Harab Central Jail. This is the entry where vehicles can come for visitors and this is the place where he will now be heading straight to the office of the superintendent of jail. Now, what is important to understand is that it is at this time that the old paperwork will start. The, the police have kept all the paperwork ready and this includes the, the details that have been put in not just by the jail officials of Karnataka, but also we are going to be seeing the terms and conditions that have been put by the Chennai uh, police as to what she would have to follow when she is in Chennai when her parole is granted. Now what is also important is that only if Shashikala agrees to these uh, points of conditions that have been put in place by the police will the parole be said to have been finally granted. Both sides have to agree upon and that is why the Karnataka jail authorities have said they are op they're, they're ready to give her parole but the parole can be said to have formally been given when the signatures of Shashikala as well as the jail authorities is put in that paper and that is what we have seen TTV Dinakaran who has just arrived here he will be now part of that entire discussion that takes place because he's here to take her he's here to take her and go uh, to to there, you can, I can actually see that TTV Dinakaran now leaving and going inside the gates because the vehicles are not being allowed there the police escorting him inside because the media posts say that has been kept right outside here and there you see him going right inside we're showing you here the live visuals and giving you an absolute update Avantika as to how the entire procedure for the application or rather the processing of parole for Vikesha Shikala is taking place there you can see him walking in right through the main gates of uh, Parpanagra Hara now we'll next hour or two we can place but that all will be within closed doors signatures and that is what is important to understand signatures will be put and finally the kind of supporters that who have been coming in from Dharmapuri from Krishnagiri and from Hosur and other areas who are supporters of the GTV camp who are supporters of, supporters of VK Sajikala will be here as they hope and expect that she will come out and she'll be leaving in this very car they're going by road it'll take them four to five hours she'll be leaving with TTV Dinakaran in this very car and so in the next to four or five hours or rather after a couple mm -hmm. of hours of complete uh, uh, official work that takes place we can actually and we can wait here to see whether this car comes out with Vikesha Shikala. You know Rohini uh, 
this is an, a very important time for TD with Anakran as well, hasn't it? Because Tamil Nadu has been witness to a dramatic turn of events, EPS, OPS. I just paused there briefly to see if TD with Anakran did speak to the uh, media and he didn't. He didn't give any reaction. So, Rohini, you know, uh, Tamil Nadu has been witness to this this very uh, tumultuous time uh, with with dramatic turn of events, EPS, OPS coming together, all of the ministers who had once pledged their allegiance to Chinema joining hands with EPS, OPS and TD Vidhanakaran literally been dumped, uh, been completely sidelined. How important and significant is this parole for him? Imagine him actually having to travel, get the time with his aunt, with Chinema in that car uh, and, and travel all the way from from Bengaluru to Chennai. Well, it is important because apart from the fact that they they get to meet only once in 15 days because that is when convicts are allowed visitors at the Parpanagraha jail and that too for a few hours. These four to five hours are extremely crucial. You can say strategic planning will take place, a lot of consultation will take place. But, but what has been also been said is that once she enters Chennai, she will not be able to meet any political leaders or anybody associated with the party. That, so, so, so before that, they would expect to have a lot of discussion on what the situation is, especially when it comes to the EPS-OPS combined government in the state. The strategy we have seen how TTV Dhanakaran has said that they have been let down by, uh, by, the, by the entire team of EPS and OPS. With 18 MLAs, they actually had to move them to a resort in uh, Kodagu and keep them for several days there so that they hope that nobody is actually poached. And then you can actually also see, and uh, let me try to show you that the family is standing right there. They have come with a lot of fruits and sweets. So they are completely prepared. This is just one part of Antika that you're actually seeing because Chennai is where we know that the Kada has got things ready. We are given to understand she will stay in Ilavarasi, who is also serving term with her here. Her daughter's house Krishna Priya in Tinaga and it is at that place that she will be afterwards visiting Glen Eagles hospital where her husband has been put. Mm -hmm. Now coming back to the point of the political developments and how the political parley takes place, this will be important for TTV Dinakar and also to explain what strategy they should adopt because this issue of parole ever since it has been discussed has definitely created jitters in political circles in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai, EPS OPS camp also being very careful and that is why we've seen that the government is, is the EPS OPS government and that is why when they're giving her parole they put an ironclad conditions so that she will not be able to meet the carders or make any more decisions mm. with, directly with the carder or she could only possibly meet family members but we should also remember the support that she's getting is from her family members TTV Dinakaran whose family is also her nephew and and also a part uh, is of the, of the AIDMK office bearer. So it is uh, right now imperative for her to not only come out but also make a point when she comes out that she is there to take more uh, to, uh, to take decisions. Let me try and give you some more uh, visuals here because now we can see from a distance mm -hmm. that Chidi Vidyanakan is yet to enter the main gates. What you just saw is just the entry point, but then you have the main gates. I don't know if you, but remember if you go back a few months when Shashikala was bought here six months ago she entered those gray gates inside and he's standing right there outside with his family and what uh, this is the place that he will be allowed to enter but after the jail authorities give their go-ahead but typically if you see at this time it's usually that visitors are allowed around two to two o'clock to five o'clock but in this particular case because the parole processing is taking place and people who belong to family and office bearers need to be there they are they will be allowed a little earlier there mm -hmm. you see him taking pictures and photographs just outside jail there, a smiling TTV Dinakaran. And uh, there are a lot of photographs also being taken by supporters who have managed to also go in with him. But finally, those who go inside will be TTV Dinakaran and the lawyers. And, and what a relief it would be for him. And it's so evident uh, there. It's written all over his face. The smile says it all. He, in fact, has gone through uh, such, a, such a traumatic time, been completely cut off from the party. Uh, uh, you know, he's, he's been completely sidelined, literally dumped by EPS, OPS. And now having the chance 
to be with his aunt with Chanama and spend that time in that cow when they travel by road to Chennai. Why by road? Why did they choose to take the road? Uh, why did they choose to travel in car, uh, Rohini? Well, that choice also is because there are certain other uh, reasons regarding security. Uh, they, as of now, we, we do understand that neither the TTV camp nor the Karnataka police have approached each other to give security cover to Speaker Sasikala as she leaves this place. Mm -hmm. And so, in case she has to go to the airport also, she would need a lot of security clearance because there could be a law and order issue in the city and the commissioner or the Bangalore commissioner has not been approached. And the border from here is just 30 kilometers away and since the support area and their uh, people are in, in the just across the border from Hosur. They would rather like to enter their area, that is Tamil Nadu, really as, as soon as possible, and so as to not waste any time. And like like we were just discussing, four to five hours is very crucial time for strategy, and that will be exactly what they will concentrate yes. on. So uh, that is also one reason why they have decided to take the road, and it's much faster. Also, she would be possibly in Chennai in four and a half to five hours, and within that time, they could have already put in place some things that they could possibly discuss so once she enters there she will be dedicated to what as according to the rules that have been put or conditions rather that have been put to her to her visiting her husband mr natarajan who is who has undergone an organ transplant uh, the smile on tt dinakaran's face definitely speaks loads and loads of the, the confidence in which she has come here the confidence in which they are happy to see that she is going to walk out with a parole with parole now uh, we have been given to understand that she'll be given 15 okay. days parole which is normally what is given to a convict uh, 15 days is the emergency parole there are two types of parole one is ordinary and one is emergency she has applied for an emergency because according to the jane manual she, a con can visit somebody who is critically ill right, uh, based on okay. emergency parole and that is what has been granted to her for now right uh, you know I, I am going to come to you uh, these are the visuals coming in from outside the bengaluru's parapana agrahara jail where sasikala will be leaving on a 15 day parole a quick break on the broadcast stay tuned I'll be back on this story. Keep watching.